soldier? He was totally dedicated to the Marines. I'm not the Marines. That's a tough outfit. My father was in the Corps. He said no one was meaner than me. Sometimes I used to think he loved the Corps more than me. He was caught in a firefight with suspected rebels. Sometimes in war, a soldier gets con uh, confused or, or blinded. They were not even soldiers. A government mercenary killed my husband. Some paramilitaries paid more than soldiers to provide security. You no know, governments will do anything they can and by any means to get what they want. No rules to war. He was one day from shipping out when his tour of duty was extended for a second time. His last letter to me was all about how he was coming home to be with his family. Your father died in combat as well? It happened before I was 12 years old. My mother later told me that I always thought daddy was at war my whole life because he was never around. I don't know what to tell my son. Tell him the truth. You mean I should tell him that his father perished in a war based on lies and greed? A war without end? War becomes a part of life. Civilians get used to it. As long as we see difference in each other and in each other's interests, there will be war. Peace may be a thing of the past, but I cannot carry on like this anymore. My son's friends think I'm a witch because of all the sobbing and all the black clothes I wear to school every day. You're a teacher? Yes. At my son's school, I teach history to third graders. It would be nice to be a child again. Not think of such horrible matters. You know, peace can exist in a child's mind, even during war. I see a certain sense of fear in some. Others find entertainment from the war. Education will get you far in this world. You know, if we all educated each other about each other and one another, then uh, I feel like we'd be a little bit closer to peace. Are you suggesting that in my own little way I'm contributing to peace in the future? by molding children's minds. I just want them to understand that war is the last solution when people are in conflict over differences in the world. You should continue to teach from the heart if that's what makes you happy. You would not be honoring your husband if you did not teach from his what you've learned from his loss. As long as you keep teaching your perspective on conflict to your children, then I think they one day will have a better perspective on their own future. Thank you, Mr. Barnaby Sykes, Mrs. Trang. How did you know my name? Your husband's grave, Mrs. Trang. Well, I'll have to pay respects to the old man. You have a good afternoon. Oh, and uh, good luck with your son. <laughs>